The new Mercedes-Benz C-Class 2022 has the same MBUX user interface system that debuted in last year's S-Class, and offers the same high level of functionality, minus the 3D digital instrument panel and augmented reality head view. But you get pretty much everything else. In terms of ambiance and touchable technology, the interior of the 2022 Mercedes-Benz C-Class makes the cabin of the BMW 3 Series and even the Audi A4 look and feel like a low-end item. The rectangular digital instrument panel stands on the dashboard that rolls forward under the windshield and enhances the sense of spaciousness. As in the S-Class, the portrait format center touchscreen flies over the dashboard, its silver edges flowing back onto the top surface of the center console like the wingtips of an F-15. However, in the S-Class, the console structure under the center touchscreen just horns the lower dashboard. On the C-Class the outer edges curve left and right and run in an unbroken line to every corner of the cabin. Another S-Class technology. The individual element of the semiotic seat control in the door is a touch-sensitive capacitor switch, meaning the switch doesn't move. This switch feels weird at first you expect movement but once you get used to just touching rather than pushing or pulling the elements, you won't want to go back to the old system. You can now make finer adjustments to these switches. Chair from before. The steering wheel has the same haptic touch controls as the S-Class on horizontal spokes. They're also a little tricky to work with until you get used to the idea that fingertip touches and swipes are all you need to make things happen. And, like in the S-Class, the MBUX voice recognition system can recognize which car passenger is speaking. Codenamed W206, the 2022 Mercedes-Benz C-Class sedan builds on the evolution of the W205 platform, significantly re-engineered to pack a 24.5 kWh battery that will provide 60 miles of pure electric range for the plug-in hybrid models, and a new rear axle with optional rear wheel steering. The wheelbase is an inch longer, and much of it has been used to increase rear legroom. The overall length is increased by 2.6 inches, and the width is 0.4 inches. One size down, though, the roofline is 0.4 inches lower. Up front is a revised multi-link suspension similar in design to the new S-Class. And as on the new S-Class, the optional rear steering system rotates the rear wheels in the same direction as the front wheels at speeds in excess of 35 miles per hour, for increased stability. They turn in the opposite direction at less than 35 miles per hour to increase agility. In the S-Class, the rear wheel turns 10 degrees or 4.5 degrees, depending on the size of the wheels and tires, but in the C-Class it only rotates a maximum of 2.5 degrees. The 2022 Mercedes-Benz C-Class will go on sale in the US early next year in C300 and C304 Modic specifications, powered by the 2.0-liter M254 four-cylinder engine that debuted in Europe last year. Interior and exterior design elements as well as MBUX hardware and software are not the only S-Class influences seen on the new 2022 Mercedes-Benz C-Class. Impressive driving comfort and visible suppression of road noise make it feel more like the original. The luxurious big brother of any compact Mercedes sedan since the original 190e, though we should note all the test cars that were present for the model's media launch were equipped with the adaptive damper suspension which was an option in Europe. The 2022 Mercedes-Benz C-Class is more spacious than its predecessor, and with style, technology and manners heavily influenced by the cars that define the Mercedes brand.